stain do you think the de-ratification process will leave on the election? Um, you know, if you, if you think ahead of, of the weeks that will follow the vote as the government is being formed, do you worry that uh, this process will weigh heavily on the way business is conducted? Well, I think it has been um, very encouraging uh, that um, after all and after sometimes thorough consideration, parties have decided to fully participate in the elections and to call on uh, the electorate uh, to express their preference through their vote instead of staying home. Um, I hope that that spirit also will prevail um, after uh, the elections, um, but uh, obviously we, we will uh, have to see. Um, could you uh, give a, a quick rundown of, of which countries have uh, sent a national observer? You mentioned five hundred to six hundred. And I'm also interested in, in past elections here, the number of international observers were not enough in ratio to the population for any uh, real certification that it was a clean election. And that was because of the security situation. Is, is this number by international standards enough to say yes or no? This no, on the, on the last point, <clears throat> there's, there's not such a thing as an, uh, a full-fledged uh, international certification on the basis of uh, an, an observer um, participation as, as it is usually uh, organized, uh, because the, the, no, the number is too low, that's, that's uh, for sure. Could you say something on would, where they come from? I would, um, I mean, the, the European Union is probably better able to answer that than, than we are, frankly. But I would point out that the national observers and political agents runs around to two to 300,000. Uh, and in the eyes of the UN and in elections around the world, it is the domestic observation by political parties and observer groups that are the best anti-fraud measure. Uh, they understand the language, they see the processes, they hear things, they're there for many more hours than international observers are. Uh, so I think that the acceptance of the election results will best be measured by their reports. Do you have a rough idea of which countries in, or you're saying the European Union? I, I, I don't know. Uh, I deal with the technical side and, and not the observation side, sorry. Other points, please. Can you go through, um, I think it went up at before, but just to make sure we have it all correct, a rundown of exactly when you would expect preliminary results, when there would be final results, and when the coalition building could officially begin? Would you? Uh, sure. Yeah. Um, I think the coalition building has begun. <laughs> uh, but but how, we, how we anticipate it is the polls will close um, on the 7th. The count in the polling stations will be probably twice as long as, as normal because of the complexity of the ballot and because of twice the number of candidates, as the SRSG said. So that count may run to midnight till one in the morning, at which point everything is then moved to government warehouses where it's all intaked to make sure that all the polling station materials have been gathered by government. Then the tabulation forms are delivered to the IHEC headquarters here in uh, in the green zone, uh, and we would expect that the count, the tabulation, the data entry would then begin in earnest on the 9th. Um, as the SRSG indicated, IHEC has adopted a policy that 30% of polling stations from each governance should be data entered so that there's a good mix of those results when they're first released. Uh, so we don't have 30% of one government coming from one particular geographical area. That it's, it's a mix. We would expect to see those results probably around the 11th or 12th. Uh, completion, assuming the out-of-country results come uh, in as we hope, uh, we should, they, they should be completed around the 18th or 19th. Uh, resolution of complaints, if that mechanism works in a timely fashion, uh, the election judicial panel works as quickly as it was able to last year. Then, as the SRSG said, we would expect that IHEC should be able to present certified results, final results, to the federal Supreme Court, who, for the Council of Representatives elections, actually certifies the election. It is not the Election Commission. So that's the, the current timeline planning. Um, 